Citizens aware of their legal rights can access benefits of government programs and lead dignified lives as promised in the Constitution of India. Here is the story of Legal Literacy Camp, a collaborative model created by non-government organization District Legal Services Authorities, popularly known as DLSAs, and law colleges aimed to help people realize the potential of legal empowerment. This is also an exemplary model which can be replicated throughout India. Majority of the Indian population, almost 70%, reside in the villages. Most of them lack awareness about their legal rights and entitlements, as well as grievance redressal mechanisms. As a result, delivery of government services remain largely ineffective. Villagers are not able to access the benefits of their legally mandated government programs. Hence, it is extremely important to address the information gap and generate awareness among the villagers about their rights and entitlements and grievance redressal mechanisms. In an attempt to bridge this information gap and generate awareness among the villagers, Sehgal Foundation joins hands with DLSA to work together on access to rights and entitlements. Together, they organize legal literacy camps in different parts of rural India. Such camps are organized with the aim to empower rural communities with information on their legal rights and entitlements. This collaboration is further strengthened through the participation of faculty members and students of law colleges. Improved awareness through camps could lead to improved access of villagers to various government programs. On the whole, impact of such camps could result in collective articulation of demands by the villagers, leading to accountability and transparency of public institutions. Legal Literacy Camp acts as a catalyst to make this a reality. It not only generates awareness, but also helps the villagers to engage constructively with the government and access their basic rights and entitlements. Legal Literacy Camp, organized jointly by Sehgal Foundation, DLSA and law colleges, can serve as a model throughout India. DLSAs, law colleges, NGOs can collaborate to organize such camps in various parts of India with the aim to generate awareness and help villagers gain better access to government programs. Pre-camp awareness generation drives are organized a week before the camp. Villagers are made aware of the timings, venue and usefulness of the camp. Door-to-door -door meetings, ward-wise visits, pamphlets, wall posters, local newspaper, radio are used to inform the villagers. Meetings with key community leaders, Panchayati Raj institution members, self-help groups and government officials are also conducted to garner their support. Venue of the camp is finalized and booked. Permission and clearance are taken from the concerned government departments before the camp day. Arrangement for banners, tables, list of volunteers, stage, water, registration formats, application forms, data sheets is also completed. Registration stalls are set up at the camp venue. Registration is done by the volunteers at the registration desk. Pamphlets, small booklets on government programs and complaint mechanisms are distributed. Volunteers also provide information on various government programs at the stalls. They provide hand-holding support in writing applications, filling forms and complaints. The camp also serves as a platform where government officials, members of DLSA, faculty members of law colleges, members of the Sehgal Foundation team interact with the villagers. As a follow-up of the complaints and applications registered on the camp day, meetings are organized in the villages with respective villagers. Telephonic assistance and follow-up with the villagers are also done. If required, Sehgal Foundation team also accompanies villagers to district departments for submitting applications or complaints. Report on the camp is shared with local media, social media and online blogs. Major problems reported in the camp by the villagers are discussed with government officers. Policy briefs are prepared and shared with government institutions. Thus, legal literacy camps, if conducted and followed up properly, can lead to increased awareness and access to a host of government programs in rural areas. 
this model can be effectively replicated in various parts of India. DLSAs, law colleges, NSS cells, Nehru Yuva Kendras and youth clubs along with NGOs can collaborate together to make this endeavour a grand success. If replicated properly, such camps have the potential to benefit millions of rural people residing in Indian villages and can help them get social and economic justice.